वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ शॉर्ट्स एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन एंड्रोड स्टूडियो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली एडेड दिस यूजर नेम कैप्सन एंड यूजर प्रोफाइल इन ऑल द वीडियोज सो दैट वी कैन सी द यूजर डिटेल्स ओवर हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन आवर प्रोफाइल एक्टिविटी सो दैट वेन वी क्लिक ऑन प्रोफाइल वी कैन अपडेट द प्रोफाइल एज वेल एज वेन वी क्लिक ऑन दिस यूजर नेम वी विल गो टू द प्रोफाइल स्क्रीन ऑफ दैट यूजर नेम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड इम्प्लीमेंट दैट so here first i will go to my package and let's create a new activity that will be our profile activity finish let's go to activity profile click on split let's design so in design what we will do first we will add a photo over here that will be circular below that we will add a username below that we will add a button that will be logout button as well as follow and unfollow button the same button we will utilize so let's start designing let's make a linear layout so that we can add every item in vertical vertical let's first add image view uh, let's give fixed height 120 dp margin top 16 dp and let's add a source so that we can have a circular image view resource drawable let's create a new vector asset let's say circle uh, we can use this account circle account circle click okay let's change it to 64 dp color let it be some grayish color and name will be icon account circle click on finish here we will give the source as account circle so it will come like this let's make a linear layout gravity as center horizontal so that it will be in center let's give id to it profile pick let's add one progress bar also so that we can show when it is loading we'll make it a small progress bar 16 dp id will be progress bar so it will be visible over here like this below this we'll add a text view we can minimize this as we go wrap content wrap content tools text let's add some username it will be like this text style will be bold and text size will be about 20 sp so username will be visible like this we have to give the id profile username let's minimize this also now let's add a button for log out as well as for follow on follow so wrap content wrap content margin will be 4 dp text will be let's not add text for now text size will be 14 sp let's add tools text for now that will be log out and id will be profile button whatever the button is we will say profile button so let's minimize this also so we have added image view progress bar username and log out button now we will add follower count following count as well as post count so let's add those so i'll make linear layout wrap content wrap content margin will be about 10 dp and orientation will be horizontal so that we can add three item so inside this linear layout i will make another linear layout so that i can add two text view wrap content wrap content margin horizontal will give about 10 dp gravity will be center orientation will be vertical so inside this linear layout we will add two text view so text view wrap content wrap content text will be as for now let's say 0 text size will be 24 sp and text style will be bold so we have this text over here let's give the id to it that will be our following count so it will be the following count below this we will add the indicator text view so text view wrap content wrap content and text will be following so in this way it will show number of following and the following so this linear layout what we can do we can give weight as 1 layout weight 1 so that we can equally distribute let's copy this internal linear layout and paste it three times so we have one following in second we will say follower count and the text will be follower third we will say post count it will be posts so this all will be let's minimize this linear layout linear layout linear layout this three linear layout are inside this linear layout so we have image view progress bar text view and this button and linear layout below this we'll add one divider material divider we will use width will be match parent height will be 2 dp so that the divider will come over here and below this we'll add videos that we will do later so here we will be adding videos for now let it be and now let's go to profile activity so in profile activity what we require if you go to the application we have this screen if you go to profile from here 
it should take us to my profile because this is my account I have logged in it should go to my profile but if you click on any username over here it should take to the profile of that username we will use the same screen but we will send the user id from here we will send our current user id from here we will send profile user id so what we will do to go to profile activity we will be requiring user id so from main activity what i will do whenever we click on menu profile that means we have to go to profile activity so here we have written the command go to profile activity we will remove this toast and we will create an intent so intent intent will be from this to our profile activity class dot java so we will go to profile activity but while going we will add some extra value so how we will add we will use put extra we will use the key of profile user id and we will pass the user id of the profile so from here we will pass current user id so how we will get that current user id so when we are logged in we can get the current user id from firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid so we can get from here so let's add null check also so we will get the user id from current user and whenever we click on profile it will go to profile of current user so here we will pass and we will just start activity intent in this way we will go to profile activity let's run and test either we are going to profile activity or not let's click on profile so we are in profile activity so from here we are passing the value so that we will get in the profile activity so let's close this main activity and work on profile activity first add the binding binding activity profile binding activity profile binding dot inflate layout inflator binding dot root so in this way we will get the binding let's get the user id also so let in it where profile user id that will be from that will be string and we will assign it from intent dot get string extra the key you can copy from main activity let's copy this key profile user id it will be same so in this way we will get the profile user id so we are sending it won't be null so let's add a not null now we will get the profile user id we can come from here also we can come from here also so how we will define this is my profile or this is other user profile so what we will do we will get current user id also so we will say let in it where current user id so here what we will do current user id equals to we will get from firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid so from here we will get the current user id so if profile user id whatever we are passing and the logged in user id is same that means this is our profile it is not other profile it is our profile so what we will do if profile user id equals to equals to current user id that means current user profile else other user profile so in this way we can determine so first thing what we will do if current user id then we will do binding dot profile button dot text will set it to log out because because it is current user id we will show the log out button here if it is not us then we will show either follow or unfollow that we will add logic later so after this what we will do we will just get profile data from firebase so we will get the profile data from firebase with the profile id so whatever the profile id is there we will get the data so here i will create a method in this method we will do that so i will use firebase fire store dot collection users collection dot document document will be profile user id dot get if we get add on success listener so here when we will get the data that we will convert to user model so where i will store user model let's add a another let in it where that will be profile user model that will be of type user model and here what we'll do profile user model equals to it dot to object user model class dot java it will be not null so in this way we'll get the profile data now we will what we will do after getting the profile data we will set the ui so we'll set the ui according to the data so i will create a method fun set ui here what i will do i get the profile user model so profile user model dot apply so here what i will do so i will fill up the ui so let's fill up the ui how we will do that first we have to fill up the profile so for that i will use glide dot with binding dot profile pick dot load that will be profile picture url dot into binding dot profile pick in this way we load from the user model profile pick to our this image view like we were doing over here 
so here also we'll add the request option so for that i will use apply function request option dot placeholder that will be draw r dot drawable dot icon account circle so if picture is not loaded it will show this one so this is for picture we'll set username profile username dot text will be username and then binding dot progress bar dot visibility will be invisible progress bar should not be visible once we loaded for this username let's add concat at the rate also so that it will look good now following num binding dot following count dot text equals to following count we will say from following list dot size we have the following list dot to string same way we will do for follower count follower list dot size dot to string so we will get the follower count and following count also we have post count so how we will get the post count so for post count what we will do let's go to the firebase first so if you go to videos over here we have the collection of videos we have the collection of videos where we have the uploader id so from this uploader id we can know how many posts are there so from this uploader id we will get to know this uploader id has two posts so what we will do here we'll check firebase dot firestore dot collection the collection of videos in the collection of videos we will check where equal to so we have the function that is available on firebase that is where equal to where equal to the field is uploader id so we'll check on field uploader id what we will check we will check the profile user id so whatever the profile user id that we will check if that profile user id has the uploader id then we will show that video count so we'll get dot add on success listener so once we will get all the videos list we will just do one thing binding dot post count dot text equals to whatever the query snapshot we get dot size dot to string so this will be the list from this we will take the size and we will convert it to string in this way we will get the post count over here whoever the profile we have opened so let's run and test how it is looking now if we go to profile you can see over here we have this logout button username is captain profile picture is not there and we have two posts because because the captain user has uploaded these two posts that's why it is visible so if we click on logout it won't happen anything let's go and implement that so profile button will be logout and here what we'll do binding dot profile button dot set on click listener so whenever we will click on logout button what we'll do we'll create a method that will log us out so logout here fun logout so firebase auth dot get instance dot we have the method sign out so we'll just simply do sign out and when user log out we'll take to login screen so for that what we will do we will create an intent intent this we will take it to login activity class dot java so that whenever user click on logout it will take to login activity but when user click on back again it should not come to profile activity that means we have to clear the back stack so for that what we will do intent dot flags we will use intent dot flag activity as new task because user should not able to click back new task or intent dot flag activity clear task open a new task and clear all the tasks start activity intent so in this way whenever user click on logout it will take us to login screen and on click of back button we won't come back run app let's go to profile we have to post click on logout so we are logged out if you click on back application close if you again open the application we are in login screen so we are logged out so in this video we have successfully designed our activity profile screen where we have image view text view and logout button and the following follower and post details so we got the data from the user the next video what we'll do if you click on that username we can go to the profile of other username and we can follow and unfollow that user so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye